Okay, so I've had a few people ask me, oh, I feel like I'm zoomed in. Oh, kids did not play with the camera. Back to this thing. I've had a few people ask me what the data portability is like in Craft. So I'm gonna just look at it with you right now. Export my demo folder. I'm gonna show it to you first and just open it up in OneWriter to see what it's like. OneWriter does a pretty good approximation of what you would get in Obsidian or any other tool that kind of supports Markdown. And that's what I'm gonna do, just the Markdown export today. Before we do that, couple ways to support the channel. Number one is to become a patron at patreon.com slash Curtis McHale. Patrons get a special chat rooms to talk about upcoming courses, see material early for my courses that come out on my Discord server. Link to my Discord server below. There's a bunch of stuff that's open free for everyone. Um, or you can take one of my courses at Skillshare. That's curtismchale.ca slash Skillshare. You can take one of my courses, maybe the one on Zettelcasting, um, which I demo a lot of craft stuff. That's it, buckle up. Let's look at the content portability in Craft. So what we have here is we have a uh, just a demo folder that I've used to display before. You'll note, recognize some of them. Um, I've got a demo link, right? This is just to a page uh, in Craft, right? Demo link right there. I've got some other stuff that's like embedded in other spots in my database. Well, it's got a lot of, a lot of links to it. Um, I've got another one there, external link. I've got some cards. I've got some sub pages and I got a comment in there. And this note over here, I've just got links to my cards um, in there. So let's export. I did this once already on uh, a different folder that had a lot more stuff in it, but not link, not a lot of links inside that folder. I used my research dashboard folder. And that one was just a bad one because there's not a lot of cards that link between stuff. And you'll see why that matters in just a second. So we'll do demo. Demo craft export done. Does it not let me save? Okay, I have to move it then. So we'll save it. Not let me save there. We'll open up files. Let's move this. Because I really want it in one writer. Move. Okay, let's open up OneWriter. So I just dropped it in the OneWriter folder so that I could have it here. So I have to add folder, iCloud, this is only the OneWriter stuff, demo craft export, choose this folder. There we go. So now I've got my content in here and we can look at links to sub pages and cards. You can see in here I have my demo link, which links out to the demo link item in here, right? demo link and content type tests. So this is where I had my uh, cards, my sub card, stuff like that. You can see I didn't get some of them. So this was the link structural versus institutional racism that linked out to something else in another um, folder as Kraft calls it. So that one would link to uh, something in my notes here. I don't actually know where, somewhere in my notes right there. Um, right, demo link still linked. This is another external link. This is a card. So what happens with your cards is they're just gonna get embedded right in your content. Now, what does this mean for like your overall everything? Let's even try that. I wonder how long that will take. If I go back into craft and go to all documents, which is like, I don't know, 1200, 1300, export all documents into Markdown. Uh, pretty good, really. Like, that's not terrible. 1,528 documents. So I think what we're gonna see is that we'll lose our fancy formatting, our cards, our sub pages, stuff like that. They'll just all be embedded in single documents. But we are likely to keep all of our actual links between content which honestly seems reasonable to me. Um, seems reasonable to me. We'll make sure once this gets back, we'll actually look at my other video on, or my other, uh, I was just talking about this book, Why We Can't Sleep. I just did a video on kind of starting to take the notes for this and showing you how I connect things, which will come out. You know, I already know I mixed up the day I said in there. So I'm not gonna say day, it's coming out after this. Um, so I'll look at that note specifically because I know there's a lot of interlinking from that note to other things. And let's save it into save to files. 
call it craft all documents done can i drop it here i cannot so save that wasn't too bad really for an export of 1528 documents some of them not a lot of them but some of them like my um Zettelkasten course, which is over here in my courses folder, has a lot of sub pages in there. But it's saving 1528 files right now. Like that's a lot. <laughs> that's a lot for any system, really. And we're not doing too bad. I won't make you watch this whole thing, though. There you go, we're back. That took well, only about two minutes after. So that's all you've missed is about two minutes, which again, really isn't terrible for all those files. Let's add this one. Oh, I gotta move it first, don't I? Let the cancel. More files, craft all documents, move into OneWriter. Pretty quick again. Add our folder, iCloud, craft all documents, choose this folder. Let's see how this works. Okay, these are just things that were in my inbox. This is linking to notes. The value of knowledge is hard to measure. Perfect, into deep work. Uh, so books is not found for some reason. Interesting, so if I went into my, I wonder why that's linked to books. Let's go back over to craft and try and find that note. That was first break all the rules. The value of knowledge work is hard to measure. Deep work. So that is probably in books. So it's a book I read. So what it's not doing, I would guess there is from this folder, which was in notes, right in the notes folder, this is actually like back up to Will that work slash, let's see, preview, it does work. So what we'd need to do is run some sort of script that would, right, so this won't link to notes either, file not found, but that's because dot dot slash uh, should make this work. I'm just flipping over to preview, edit. There we go. Oh, this is the problem. This is one of the things I don't love about not one writer specifically, but with Obsidian because you get stuck in one writer, which is only okay. Oh, look, they all work. <laughs> great, great. So as far as data portability and craft, I would say it's pretty high. Like knowing that it's not gonna do this backwards folder traversing actually makes sense. Dot dot slash is a pretty standard like programmer thing, which is why I picked it up. If you're not a programmer, I understand why you might not pick it up, but uh, it seems pretty reasonable to me. So I would say long term, if I looked at so at courses too, really. How did my office revamp get in there? That's not where that should be. <laughs> Anyways, that should be in my research dashboard. Um, right. So none of these links will work because I traverse a folder, and I'm already inside a folder. So I'd have to go back and like put the dot dot slash on them. But I've got. All right, this is a sub page. I can show you my course layout. And I'll actually go walk through how I did a course in Office Revamp. Yeah, so that actually goes into a research dashboard right there. And so does that. That's where those should go. I don't know why they ended up in courses. So this is how it's actually set up. All right, introduction, a script. Um, and it didn't do the block level importing here, right here, right? You can see notes. Uh, sync to the level of your systems, and it's got this extra stuff here. Let's add the dot dot slash here, dot 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 slash. And what does this do? And we'd have to clear out this extra faffery at the end. But ultimately, I think we get pretty good for data portability. Right. If I come back in here, yep, I get it. And oh look, I even have that. That would be that long string was actually right there. So this is pretty good. Yeah, that's it. 
So I think the data portability on craft is actually pretty good, uh, at least back to markdown. I am fairly confident that I could like have it. And yes, when I got to a note, sometimes I had to put the link back in. I might have a few issues in it, but ultimately it's pretty good. And I am fairly certain that Obsidian would traverse those files anyways into folders for me because it's just smarter than one writer. And that's kind of why I left. I have a whole video coming on why I left Obsidian for craft though. That's it. If you liked the video, thumbs up below. If you loved it, subscribe, hit the bell, and YouTube will never let you know something happened, but they say they will. Other ways to get benefit from the channel is to join the Discord server link below. Uh, a bunch of stuff for free. And then if you become a patron, there are some extra channels for patrons to talk about the courses that are coming up as they're in development uh, and just to get some extra content that way. Or you can take one of my courses at curtismichael.ca slash Skillshare. Did I say Patreon? Patreon.com slash curtismichael. Skillshare. There's a Zettel casting course, which you saw a bit of the outline of, and you'll see more of it later. That's it. Have a good one. Thumbs up to me. I don't know why, because because my kids actually did the district tonight, and they didn't fight and didn't come down during video times like 17 times, which is like a super win for me. Have a good one.